Hello, this is Elko Belzer. Welcome to Belzer's Tragic Arcana. So it's my continuing multiplayer match versus the Bite Naval Channel for the Lion of Africa scenario. It comes with the DLC Empires and Turmoil. It's Tragic Command World War One. Let's go. And then he's uh, Central Powers in Germany. We're Belgium, the British Empire, Portugal, a whole mismatch. And uh, Germans primarily got African troops. We have just about everybody from all over the world. Well, the old world anyway. Let's go. We got three turns left. It'll say two. I've got this turn and two more to vanquish him. He's got three units left. I've got to get into Dar es Salaam, which means taking out the Lion of Africa. There's a town on the coast that's covered in swamps, but we got we can uh, our supply can extend there. It's not it's not good, but it should be good enough. He's it's a town on the coast around by probably mangrove swamps, jungles. Perfect place to hold out to the end, right? Maybe. Uh, yeah, I'm on pins and needles, man. I, I really want to win this one, but I mean, it has been difficult. Yeah, it says two turns. And this will confuse people. Okay, there's not much that he can do. So, if he had bought in a unit, and I can't get in a Dar es Salaam, we're going to be able to do it. Uh, but if I couldn't, well, let's say it was a couple turns later, and I failed to, you know, I use all my AP, and he had a unit, holding a unit, that would be something. So we're going to go, let's make sure this one, yeah, we're going to have to shell it. Okay, this is out of supply. All right, well, we're going to do Dara Salam for a second. No, let's just do this and get it done with. Okay, now. Let's look at supply. Yeah, that is not good, but let's see. Let's take our swarm. Blown down his ground cover basically. I want that here, so let's go ahead and try. We got the Dar es Salaam. Okay, who's gonna get to go in there? I could use this here. Trenchman's down. He's out. We got it. Yes, we did. Well, I'll be damned. There's nothing else. No German land units. Nope. Well, I think we got her. I'd need to start dispersing my troops out. I'm just going to pull back a few. Guess where you guys are going, boys? <laughs> I think that's good.
it's the last piece of German occupied territory. There is no residue. Well, well, geez, uh, would there be an AER? If there is, well, I'll discuss it right now. I don't know. I should, he doesn't have a turn, so I should get the victory now. Uh, I'll just make a separate video, I think. Well, no, I can do a little bit right now. So, my strategy was from the very beginning, playing him before and, and playing uh, twice as in taunt and playing as the Germans for the first time. If you want to watch that series, it, it went it went kind of sideways on me. Uh, but my strategy basically was to do a quarter and center and contain the, the Ascari from getting loose. Because once they get loose behind you, you've got to go after them. Now they're also collecting money too, and some of them could be on a de you know a, a, a death run, right? But you've got if you don't if you leave them alone, the they'll just cause mass mayhem, especially down here, and and they could get into here. But even up in Kenya, it's bad. It can be bad. You got to send a bunch of troops, which will, which will slow you down. And then the second thing is, I knew this was going down through this northern rail line here, which I bet believe is a trolley line. And I, I read that the British built a, a narrow gauge railway here to connect with all this, start their offensive, which is pretty interesting. So it's portrayed on the map here. I think part of this railway was the German, was the German line. But anyway, um, knew this was going to be a slow slog. I didn't realize how slow. With his uh, Ryan's or by no chance magnificent defense. So I read, I read the uh, the campaign and realized that uh, the Entente put a put a, a, quite a few units in here. And they had, it, it was difficult, and their whole intent was to go this way and clear this out. It's indefensible territory. Uh, the thing is, there's a lot of grasslands to cover. So if Scar get behind you. Again, you got trouble, and the supply is not going to be good until you get new GG. And then you go down the rail line this way, and you meet up. Portugal, that's a very difficult situation. I, I got lucky in this campaign. Early on, I thought for sure he was going to bust through here. He, and, of course, if he would have sent enough troops down to do that, it would have been a wild goose chase, and I would have been scrambling. He might not have been so strong in some of these areas, so there's that. The other place is here. you got a cordon here. You'll never have enough units unless you send a ton of units, and they're going to have to show up, you know, show up down here, Belgium units or British units, and they got a long walk, no rail lines to get up in here. But because if you go in here too deep, they can get behind you and you can get cut off. I found out the hard way. So, so anyway, that was it. Basically, that was pretty basic, and then it was just grinding. And uh, well, anyway, thanks, uh, Ryan. Uh, that was that was great, and. Uh, we gotta do it again or do one of the air scenarios. Anyway, this is Ogro Elza. Thanks for watching. Thanks for all your likes and everything like that and comments on all my videos. So that is satisfying. Finally got to beat the developer in public and not in just in beta, which isn't really count. All right, we'll see you guys on the virtual battlefields. I'm gone. Whoop. I'm gone. Hello, so Crow Bells are again. Hey, uh, yeah, I have to clip this. I got in top minor victory. Uh, so, yeah, this was the AAR. There wasn't going to be another turn doing AAR. So, I'll uh, see if I can splice these together. Uh, it was in top minor victory. Yeah, I could have got a major one if I had done a lot earlier. But uh, it's better in historical, which was a. Uh, such powers, minor victory. So again, see you guys on the virtual battlefields. I am gone.